This is gonna be our last time together. Everybody, before we get into the normal vlog, I want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Ludi. You guys have seen I've worked with Ludi in the past to give my grandmom some amazing gifts. She was super excited and grateful and I loved her reactions. So today we're gonna be getting some more prizes on Ludi and whatever products we get, I'm gonna be gifting those to my friend. So let's go see what we can unbox for him. If you don't know what Ludi is, here's a quick summary. It is a platform where you can open up mystery boxes and get items for up to 95% off. You can get everything from the newest sneakers to the newest iPhone and they'll be shipped directly to your house. Got my laptop right here. We are now on Ludi.com and as you can see, they have all kinds of mystery boxes including Apple, Yeezy, Gucci, Off-White and even Pokemon boxes. Ludi has free worldwide shipping with over a million customers, and all of their products are real and authenticated by StockX. All right, let's open some boxes and see what we can get from my friend. Let's do HypeX Tech. If I scroll down a bit, you can see all of the items that you can get in this box. You can get a TV, Louis Vuitton, Gucci bag, a MacBook, a lot of different options. So we're gonna open this for $2.99. What do we get? Ooh, oh, it's a PS4 controller sticker. I thought it was a PS4 controller. That would have been dope. I don't want to keep the sticker, so there's an option to sell back your item. So that's what I'm going to do. So I just sold it for a dollar, and the money just went back up into my account. Let's go back to mystery boxes. All right, Jordan Heaven for 20 bucks. Let's roll. Come on, come on, come on. Another sticker, bro. All right, third time's a charm. We're gonna get something now. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Yeezy peasy for 30 bucks. Come on. Oh, shit. It's not a sticker this time. Hell yeah. Some fresh white Yeezys. Oh, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, yeah, we're keeping those. All right, off white lucky. Five bucks. Let's roll. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, sticker. Mm, let's go with a hype mix. A hundred dollar box. This better be something good. <laughs> if we get another sticker, bro. <laughs> no sticker, please. Oh, shit. Not a sticker. Adidas NFDs, Hugh Pharrell. Let's go. I actually have these shoes in black. I love them. They're amazing. Xbox versus PlayStation. $30. Let's roll. Oh, did we get it? What is that? Astro A50 gaming headset? Okay, that's a really good headset actually. I don't personally own a pair of Astros myself, but I know a lot of people love them. All right, iPhone 13 box for three bucks. It's probably gonna be a sticker. I'm feeling it. I called that. Mm, we gotta go with another Apple box. Maybe we can win like some AirPods or something. Oh my God! Or a fucking iPhone, holy shit! Oh, that's sick! All right, I don't, I don't think I should test my luck anymore. If you guys want to open a free mystery box for yourself, click free box in the top right corner on the website, type in my promo code Lance210, hit apply, and you'll get a free box to open for yourself. Click the link down below at the very top of the description to go over to the website. Now we just gotta wait for these products to come in, and you'll probably see at the end of the video, we'll be surprising my friend with them. He's gonna be so hype, I know it. Probably a little confused too, because he has no idea that I'm doing this for him. Let's jump into the normal vlog. What up everybody, how you guys doing today? As you can see, I got a haircut. Definitely needed it. But I decided to switch it up a little bit this time. As you guys know, I usually get the GT500 racing stripes on the side of my head, as Cody said. But I decided to switch it up and I got a line going across both sides now. I think it looks pretty cool. Just doing something different, trying out new things. Still got that mullet growing out. It's getting so long to the point where when I sleep now, the hair on the sides like flare out and they like tickle my ear. Something I'm not used to. I've never had my hair that long. But as you can see, we got the BMW X6M behind me. This thing is a monster. I got a lot of work done to it, as you saw in the previous vlog one of those being at the carbon fiber hood which looks absolutely beautiful I, I love the way it looks it's so nice I feel like sometimes I have trouble picking a name for my car especially because I get work done to them and you know sometimes end up changing the appearance totally pretty sure I'm not gonna get this car wrapped I like how it looks but we did come up with a name my friend no way actually said this as he saw it the first day he's like it looks like a panda I was like dude you're right it does and then him and I were driving to the gym the other day and somebody was playing the song panda by designer panda, 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 panda. 
loud as hell, like literally shaking every car on the road. Their bass was bumping. So we both thought that was funny. And then the next day when I posted my video, there was a comment from a fan that actually said Panda, Panda, Panda and was like writing out the lyrics to the song when they saw the car. So three signs right there. So its official name is Panda. Talking about cars, we're actually about to go pick up my Lamborghini. As I told you guys, I brought it to the shop to get the air suspension taken off. Julia's gonna drive me over there. Wow, you got the whole glam going on with the skincare. <laughs> Eye patches, yeah. All right, matey. <laughs> what? Got me eye patch on. Yeah, I'm getting the bags taken off of the car because the car drives like shit. I noticed the same thing when Cody got his Tesla on bags. It just completely destroyed the ride. It was very bumpy, especially you guys know, anytime I go over like 130, car gets really shaky. So if I want to bring the car to like a drag strip, it basically feels like the car is gonna flip over. Kind of ruins the whole experience of the twin turbos as well. You can't like take advantage of that power. So the company I bought the car from sent me over the original suspension. I got that put on. So let's head over there now and get my Lambo. I'm excited because I literally haven't had it for like over a week and a half. I got the car, had it for a couple of days and then brought it to the shop. So I like barely got to enjoy it. Ooh, that carbon fiber steering wheel is so sick. I know a lot of people hate on these, but I've never had one before. I personally love it. I get that the LED lights are a little tacky. Honestly, at night, I'm not a huge fan of them because they're kind of blinding, so I might try and figure out a way to like turn them off. But overall, it's thicker than the OEM steering wheel, and I like that. It just kind of feels like I have more control. Oh, and update, I showed you guys that I did have the tune added to the car. A lot of people are commenting saying like, oh, the tune has to like basically have a break-in period. And I was like, ah, that seems like BS. But the more I drive this thing, the more power I feel from it. I probably drove about two or 300 miles since I got the tune. And let me tell you, this thing rips now. It's definitely a lot faster. So I'm feeling the tune do some work. Let's go, getting the Lambo back. That's the normal suspension ride height that the car comes with. Got about an inch there. New Corvette, chrome purple, Audi R8. I think I actually saw the brand new M4 over here. Yeah, I did. This looks sick. Oh wow, look at that. I like that color. It's like a matte pearl white. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I like that wing too. To take the air suspension off of the car, it was a pretty penny. I'm actually gonna try and sell that air suspension. If anybody wants it, feel free to email me or tweet me at Lance210. But let's see how the car drives now. Instantly notice it's already less bouncy, which is good. Oh, still spinning. Dude, I got thick tires on this car too. They're 355s. Ride is definitely a lot more firm, which is good. The car almost felt like it was falling apart before. Like literally I back out of my driveway and it just Here's, it just sounds like everything was like cracking. The Liberty Walk kit actually had some screws missing out of it, which the shop ended up putting some new screws in, so we're good there. Oh my God. Okay, that's way better now. There is one other problem too. This car for some reason doesn't have any plates like underneath of the car, so I had to reorder those. All the like belts underneath of the car are exposed and like rocks are like shooting up in there and plus it's letting in air. So that's another reason why the car was like getting shaky, which I don't know why they weren't put back on the car, especially before I bought it. But this car is mainly just a show car. Like nobody really ever drove this thing. The company that I bought it from bought it from another person. The one thing that just like keeps popping out in my head though is like, why would you twin turbo a car and bag it at the same time? It's like, you want the power, but you'll never be able to take advantage of it. So all in all, definitely a better ride experience as I expected. I am going to get this car wrapped. So when I bring it back to the shop the next time, we're gonna get those plates underneath put on because it takes like two weeks to come in from Italy and that should help improve ride quality as well. Oh, that's a perfect photo. Hazel, you gonna go for a ride in the Lambo? Yeah? Come on. She only rides in the forms. For real. <laughs> what? Hazel's first time in a Lamborghini. You like the new car, baby? She's just trying to breathe the air in. We're gonna spit some flames real quick. Hazel, ready? job at like restricting the amount of noise from that explosion sound yeah because outside of the car it is deathly to your ears it's like insane oh my god you enjoying yourself <laughs> she's struggling so hard to stay awake right now i'm bringing the jet skis out today i'm gonna ride it for the first time let's go over to the boat dock
right, so we've been currently stuck here for, uh, I'd say about a half hour now. My dad's stuck back there. We entered a sandbar, and now something's wrong with his engine. It's not running properly. They're still back there trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure out how to get out of here. We're just slowly drifting, because if I give it some gas, we're gonna suck up some sand. It's not gonna be good if that's in the engine. So we're gonna try and slowly drift our way out of here. Now I'm overheating. I just got like a warning symbol. We're in like shallow and I'm gonna try and get out like if I walk on this bit. Yeah, I can. It's so shallow, I'm literally walking. I, I'm sinking in sand. Oh, f it's like quicksand. Turn your shit on and drift that way. I just went underneath um, and tried to pull out a bunch of shit. That's kind of like caught. I've been trying to like continuously walk towards over there so I can get to like deeper water, but uh, it's using a lot of energy and slowly I am drifting back to where I am every single time. It's not easy, it's a pain in the ass for sure. So, try it again. All right, we're good. I did. We finally got out of that mess. I'm recording my dad's phone right now. My GoPro's dead. We have the jet ski stationary right here. We just asked somebody how we get around this because we don't know this area. We don't want to run into another sandbar and get stuck. But look at this. I messed up the jet ski. Right there. Yeah, I broke off the uh, mirror. I'm getting sunburned out here. He's ready? Look at you, Larry the Lobster coming back. I'm stressed out, man. <laughs> my feet are bleeding. My Our feet are all bleeding. All of ours, look. <laughs> Mine was right here. I had tons of blood. He lost his we're shoes. Stuck. I lost my shoes. Really? <laughs> I got no shoes. Now we're gonna go three miles that way. And there we go. We found our way back. Jesus, this was an adventure. Getting them all loaded up. My dad's over it. He's Dude, done. I'm over both of you, motherfuckers. I need somebody that knows the Look, he lost his shoes. He's driving with no shoes on. <laughs> you had to be there when he lost his first shoe. Oh, he lost them at separate times? Yes. I went searching, looking for it. I couldn't find the first one. So we started walking. I lost the second one. I said, F Something that I thought was really cool that a fan actually pointed out in the comment section of my video was that the wheels on my Lamborghini were actually inspired by the Lamborghini Veneno. So obviously these are very, very unique wheels. But if you look at this picture right here, that is a Lamborghini Veneno, which is totally badass. But the rims are very similar. Of course, not exactly the same. These are gold right now. I do think they look pretty nice. But of course, if I wrap this car, probably not gonna go with the color that I wrap it. So I'm probably gonna powder coat it black. Hazel, you wanna go in the pool? She likes water, so. Oh. Oh. oh, she's Hazel's first time in the pool. Yay. All right. Now she's gonna have the zoomies. I know. Swim, Hazel. Don't be a liar. No one will oh, you do. <laughs> oh. To the red car. As you guys could see, my car is back there. I'm bringing grandma to the store. She walked to the red car. And I'm banging on the window. Lance, <laughs> you jerk off and you didn't see me. I did it. You walked right by me. Well, why didn't you stop me? I didn't see you. She walked to the red car. I'm not doing this. Uh, this is the Lambo. But you know, no, it ain't. <laughs> it's an ugly car. You ain't doing no launch. No. Grandma doesn't like the Lambo. Should I get it wrapped? Just something with an ugly mother. Yeah, but you ain't. Oh my God, you can't even get your butt in. You ain't gonna launch this, so no. You? Okay, promise. I won't. I'll just hit the eject button. It'll shoot you out of the car. Lance, don't. <laughs> As if there is one. Well, but you, I never know what there is and there isn't. I'm standing up here like a charcoal banging on the window. All right, ready? I'm gonna close the door automatically. And hey, watch this. Oh, stop! Oh, no, just let me go. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> I, I gotta go to Walgreens first, then I gotta go to, to Sally's. <laughs> okay. You know why I got the camera set up? I don't fucking. No, you're not, Lance. I swear to God, let me the fuck out of the car. I'm not doing anything. No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, Lance. Don't I'm not launching. The pump, Lance, promise me. I promise you. Look, if we're gonna launch in anything, it's gonna be the Lambo. But don't do it. Please, I'm not. Lance. We're going to this. I'm just recording. Remember, I used to uh, record us? Uh, okay. So we're bringing Grandma to. I have to go to Walgreens first. Walgreens. Let's do it. And uh, then I have to go to. Sally's. Mm -hmm. And then Stevens. And then Jack's. And then Jim. And then. Well, Gates. I ain't gonna say what else I was gonna say, but I won't say. Jack off? <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Put it in a launch mode. And it's cool. And it's really cool out today, so my nerves would be with you. Yeah. That's why I'm sweating. Pop the Molly, now you're sweating. I popped the who? Molly, you know Molly? I don't pop Molly, so don't I'm pop, gonna pop knock, Lance. Knock Molly out? I know how to pop Lance, knock him the f out. What's Hazel Paisel doing? In a nut ball. It's a feisty little thing. She wants to go on a walk. Well, I thought you were taking her. Yeah, I thought I'd take you on a walk instead. I got your leash in the, in the I don't truck. 
Come on, jerk. If I try, I can somebody try me. I'm gonna put a leash around your neck. Put it around your dick. <laughs> Whoa, it's a little aggressive. Ah, uh, but I ain't on small enough. Dude, we should do that as a video, funny idea. <laughs> not, not that. Chill. <laughs> We should put a leash around your neck. You should get on all fours and I should yeah. walk you around the store like a dog. Yeah, right. All fours, I won't be able to get the f up. <laughs> what the f is going on here? Yeah, right, we'll do it opposite. You put a leash, I'll put a leash around my neck. You walk me. And you'll be a big I'll be. I'll bark at everybody. Yeah, you would too. Cop investigation going on here. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, Somebody's got drugs. Don't put me near no guns. What? I ain't getting shot by accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're sniffing his car. I guess they think he's got drugs or well, something. Well, there must be a reason that he's sniffing. They'll hopefully they don't sniff my car. They might smell grandma's asshole. I just washed my ass off, <laughs> thank you. Very much. <laughs> Me and grandma are being newsy. Yeah, I want to be newsy. I never see no action. It's not like South Philly. <laughs> they're patting this dude down. They probably think he's selling or something. Oh, shit. There goes the coffee waffles. Oh, uh, they coughed. No, it. they found Dude, coffee. you know what's crazy? Literally a police station, not even a hundred feet from this location. This is. Well, I'm, I'm dying to know what he did now. Why did they stop him? This is like grandmom shows that she watches. She oh, watches like yeah. CSI and all that. I don't oh. watch CSI, I watch Law and Order, Chicago PD, and all that shit. I don't do no f CSI shit. Yeah, they got him. I'm getting you next. Yeah, I ain't got nothing on me. Disturbing the peace. Yeah, I'm disturbing the peace, man. <laughs> Grandma, tell him the story about how you used to drive with no license. Oh, shut up. You keep me locked up now. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a license. So boy, I just Grandma didn't... drove. She got into a car accident. She ditched the car and never I drove again. Get, I didn't get into an accident. I accidentally hit a car. Yeah, that's getting into an accident. <laughs> <laughs> she ditched the car, left it. I didn't ditch it. Get the story straight. And what'd you do? I drove it home and made my neighbor park and I run the house estate. Okay, and then she never drove again. Never, never a day in her life. Damn, the radio is going crazy right now. Yeah, that's my jam. <laughs> what are you looking at Why you got your tag sticking out? There you go. You see what they did here with the screens? Yeah, it's been like this. It's cool, but I think it's kind of unnecessary. I mean, it makes it all nice and organized, right? What do you need, Pop-Tarts? You're gonna turn into one, you keep eating them. I eat one. <laughs> In the morning, I have to take that pill. Okay. I'm supposed to eat something. Yeah. And I make the bacon and eggs and cereal. So I eat don't you get a piece. sugar high? Don't you just feel like running like I three don't miles? I a lot of sweets. So just, please don't distract me. I'm looking. <laughs> buy one, get one free. So if I'm buying three? So if you buy five, you get two. That's not my question. Grom, if you buy three, you get six free. Am I serious? Am I serious? Are you serious? No. <laughs> that, that, that Logically, that makes no sense. In other words, just buy one. Get one free. So if I buy one, you get one free. I get one free. Yeah, if you buy two, you get four free. If buy one, <laughs> get one free. Right? If you buy six, you get fifteen free. <laughs> Quick maths, Grandma. What happened to your ear? It's you got a black Wait, spot. No. I talked to the doctor about it. Yeah. It's called a fatty tissue. Okay. It's not dirt, so leave my ear f alone. How'd you get fat on your ear? Same way you got fat between your legs. <laughs> That's called something else, Grandma. Oh, yeah, Grandma's got a mark on her ear. It kind of looks like you got a, a, a Sharpie and just put a dot. All right, got Grandma's stuff. Let's go. Yeah, it looks like they arrested that guy because uh, his car's still here, but he's not. Sally's and I'm done. Grandma's got to get what, hair product? I got to dye this mop. Got roots that's so big, it's terrible. Uh, I haven't dyed my hair since, oh God, before Thanksgiving. Did you hear who else died? What do you mean who else died? Our hair. Everybody's dying. Just don't know sure. when. When do you think you're dying? Well, God says it's the end, Elizabeth. Goodbye. Hopefully it's not soon. Well, I survived two things so far, so I'm doing pretty good. Two things? Well, they had to resuscitate me two times, oh, yeah, so. True. You'll outlive me. Yeah, I do doubt that, son. Well, hopefully I have a long life, but. You will. Let's hope you have an even longer life. No, I, you know, I, I did my time on taking You did your time, but <laughs> like you got arrested and you were in jail. Like, this is so terrible to be alive. I'm not saying it's terrible. I did my but time. But when you get to be my age and nothing wants to work right, it's like, why am I here? Nothing okay. wants to work right. My back hurts, my legs hurt, this hurts, that hurts. Now that imagine hurts. if a guy was saying that, nothing wants to work right. Well, I'd say, step aside, motherfucker. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, bless me, Jesus. Fucking stop last second. And I didn't say I want to die now, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my choice. People just don't know how to fucking drive. I know. This is why I don't like to go out, unless I really have to. <laughs> I trust myself 100% when it comes to driving. I don't trust other people. Like, yeah. there's a lot of people that are just, like, very hesitant drivers. Yeah, you are a very trusting person. 
Let's not even go there. <laughs> Boy, I'm a great driver. So, like, for example, my mom would do this at points. Like, she'd put her turn signal on, and she'd, like, hesitate to, like, get over. I'm just like, yo, get over. You're going to cause an accident by, like, you know, trying to do it 30 times. Damn, girl, I'm hungry. I'll treat. What do you want? I'm going to eat some ass. Oh, well, yeah, you're eat mine. <laughs> I have, no, I have no fing filter on my mouth. I'm kidding. I don't no, do that. I mean, you want Burger King, Chick fil A, whatever the fing is cool. I'm gonna go home and eat my protein bars. Uh, <laughs> Grandma, you eat ass. Speak for yourself, motherfucker. I think it's nasty. People do that shit. I don't care what people, all the people do. What if I turn around chocolate all over my face? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's Remember nasty. That it's just a fing ton of chocolate. Torella, Torella, whatever the fing brown shit was. Brown shit? Jar, you put it on like it was shit. And I still won't even eat it now. Whatever. Nutella? Is. Yeah, I can't even look at it. Why? It reminds you of eating ass the good old days? I don't <laughs> eat it, jerk off, when you did that prank on me. Oh, where you threw up. Okay. Oh, no, I can't even look at it. Well, I don't eat it. No, you can't do it. I'll drop you off right here and I'll park the car so you don't go walk. I would have walked. No, nah, that's fine. And you're coming in. Yeah, I'll meet you inside. Got everything you need, Grandma? Yeah. Did you grab the bleach? Yeah. <laughs> What are you gonna use the bleach for? Between my legs. <laughs> Jesus! Don't put that in there. <laughs> no. I'm gonna push you. Yeah, I thought you was gonna no. push me out the door. <laughs> what? No, I'm helping you grab the door. It's been a long day for grandma. Yeah. Two stops at the store and she's out for the night. No, and I don't go to sleep. It's just the funny part. I wish I could take a cat nap during the day. And I can't. I don't know why. Julie and I, you know how your bed, it's a smart bed. We were checking your sleep and see how it was. And it says you're in bed 14 hours a day. That ain't fing right. You gotta take that shit off my phone. Every night, 10 o'clock, it goes, oh, goes. How are you in the bed 14 <coughs> hours a I'm day? I'm not. I'm in the recliner. You were in the bed. This is like going back a couple weeks. You gotta get up and walk around. I do, Lance. Oh my God, my fing eardrums. And you need to take that fing thing off my phone. Then you just have to fing monitor me. I can just see it. What do you mean? It's connected. To what? My phone. It's disconnected, motherfucker. Why? You don't want me saying? No, and that's another thing I need taking off my phone. It's the health thing It comes up. It tells me this, that, that. I don't need to take it the f*** off my it phone. It tells you you need to fucking get up and walk around. No, it needs to f***ing tell you to f***ing stop snooping on me. And I'm serious. When we get home, you come in and f***ing taking this off my f***ing phone. Why are you so mad? Because I don't like that. Apple's telling you to get up and walk around. Fuck Apple and you. Grandma's got her bed at 100% mark, which is no, the hardest, I, I, the I, hardest I, the bed can possibly be. I did. I did for, but then I had a lower down. I, if you check it again, it's probably down to like 80 or 85. It's not up to the 100 yeah. no more. But you don't need to be snooping on my bed either. <laughs> That's invasion of privacy. I have a camera in your bed. I can see everything you do. Oh my. <laughs> Good thing I'm not sleeping it no more. <laughs> I know, I'm upset. <laughs> Every other day I go up, I lay here for a while. I don't Geo's have, probably up there laying there. Right? No, the door's shut. You know what I need out? What? The TV that you took from downstairs. You need to get legs for it so you can sit it on my bureau for when I'm up there. I can watch TV. True. Yeah, because Grandma doesn't have a TV upstairs now. We moved all of our stuff downstairs. That's it for Grandma's run. I'm going to have to bring your bags in. And then you're going to clear my phone with all that data that you don't have to keep sleeping on me. Right. We've been bringing Hazel on walks every day. This is her second one. It doesn't seem like she wants to go. You tired? Come on. Hazel, what do you got? Oh, she's trying to run for me. Hazel, you got a stick? <laughs> so I'm at the gym right now. Almost thought I was in prison for a second because I walk in the gym bathroom. Yo, is, is this intentional? Somebody dropped the soap, bro. And they just decided to not pick it up. What happens if I pick it up? Watch this. <laughs> She's spinning. Wait, let me get a wide view. She only does it when I like stomp, like I'm coming towards her. Ready, Hazel? Ready? <laughs> so we just went to the store and we keep forgetting that you need bags now. When you go in the stores, like they don't give you bags anymore. You have to bring in your own. And uh, yeah, this is a current situation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Literally protein cereal. Everything here is for like our workouts. Like I just got these because I usually do like Rice Krispies before my workout. Some quick energy with the sugar. We got some homestyle Rice Krispies chocolate. We got normal of this as well. I got some like other bars down here. All of the products from Ludi have officially arrived. My friend Noe is currently on his way here. I'm excited to give him these things and get his reaction. Got my friend Noe here. He's probably really confused what's going on. 
I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You're nervous? Yeah, I'm shaking. <laughs> Why are you shaking? I don't even know what, what, what's your plan, man. <laughs> All right, so close your eyes. All right, now open them. All right, now close them. All right, now open them. Oh, you got me. <laughs> no, actually close them. I gotta go downstairs and get your thing. All right, all right. Here you go, bro. Oof. Oh my God. <laughs> you know the shoes I wear? Those are the yeah, white yeah. versions of it. The white version. How white funny is that? Nice. We're gonna match now. <laughs> Just a different color. And by, I know this is white. I'm colorblind, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's colorblind, but you can tell white. Yeah, I can tell white. They're nice. Thank you so much, man. So I got a bunch of products from Ludi. So they hooked it up. So sh who shout out to Ludi? What do you mean? <laughs> he's so confused. So All right, next yeah. thing, next thing. I got you more. Oh, wow. Uh, he knows what they are. Oh, yeah, I already know the box, man. Oh, my. Yo, this is the same ones you got, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm not gonna even wear it. I'm gonna put them in my room and just gonna keep them like that. Like a showcase? Yeah, I don't wanna get it. White shoes, bro. They get dirty real easily. Thank you. Yo, it's a it's a joke, bro. They're mine. I'll, I'll, no, I'll actually believe that. <laughs> no, because they, they got the tags on and everything. Thank you so much. No problem, man. Thank you so You got much. more, though. More? Yes. Oh my god. They're actually in here. Close your eyes. Alright. Open up. Oh, one of the best gaming headsets. I'm ready for Call of Duty, man. Call of Duty, bro? Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. We're going to play. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's Christmas already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really thankful for everything, man. Thank you so much. You got one more thing. I think I saved the best for last. Oh, wow. This is not the best? No. <laughs> Are you serious? This is not the best? Nah. No, you didn't. iPhone 13 Pro Max, bro. No, you didn't, bro. <laughs> No, why? Like, why? <laughs> now I can't. Wow, no worries, bro. <laughs> all these for me? Yeah, all for you, bro. I'm shaking, man. Thank you so much. No problem. It's probably the pre workout. It still kicked in. No. We just got done a gym workout not too long ago. <laughs> wow. Enjoy yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> so, Julie and I just landed in Florida. Cody's about to pick us up. Cody actually has a new car if you haven't seen his video. He got a supercharged, 1,000 horsepower Hellcat. It's gonna be pretty sick, so he's gonna pick us up in that. Yes, sir. Looking clean. Yes, sir. Man's got the laptop, gonna do some coding. You gotta watch out for the Hellcats with the laptops. That's what you need to be worried about. That's the police officers, bro. <laughs> Damn, son, how you like the car? I love it, dude. Oh, sh he's starting a man bun. <laughs> no, I just try. It's so hot down here. I gotta keep my hair off my neck. We bro. got Dave Jr. Yes, sir. <laughs> loud. It's loud as f Thank you for picking us up, bro. I appreciate it. Charger isn't working right now, or it's not? No, so basically trying to get the tune right because when I got the car from the dealership, I was under the impression the car was tuned for 93. Because when a car's on E85 and you start it, you can smell the E85. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, it's tuned for 93. So I'm running it on 93. The car's running like shit. Come to find out, it was tuned for E85, so I was running the wrong fuel, which is not. Not good, no yeah. bueno. So I started running E85, did another log for the tune, and it was misfiring really bad. Like when I would try accelerating and giving it gas, driving normal it was fine, but when I would try getting into it, it would misfire and the car just wouldn't fucking move. Okay. So we looked into it, I went and replaced my spark plugs, I had melted spark plugs. Oh my god. So when you melt <laughs> spark plugs, it, they don't work right, yeah. so the car misfires. Went through, replaced all the spark plugs, was able to do a pull, the car's running good, except now it's misfiring on cylinder seven and eight. So it could be faulty misfires, it could be, um, it could be like multiple things. Not the right spark timing, not the right fuel air fuel ratio. So I did another log before I came to pick you up. I had stopped on the laptops there. That's why the laptops yeah, there. To. I had stopped at the shop because I had a little bit of time and I threw on the drag pack because whenever I try getting into it on the stock tires, no traction. No, not That's even. That's me close. with my Lambo, bro. We're both posted, pushing a thousand horsepower. Yeah. We spin so. out going like 60, dude. We'll, we'll f gonna hit it at 60 and still spin. Yeah, you can ask Dalton. Yesterday I tried doing a pull with the stock tires on at 85 miles an hour. That percent of the car was fine. 
sideways. Yeah. I, so I, I gotta get some new wheels and some new tires just for like daily driving because I don't want to daily drive this drag pack that's on here right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. So for those of you who don't know, basically Cody got this car in a, like a very weird situation. Extremely this, weird. This car was for sale and Cody was No, like, no, 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 no. The car was not for sale. Okay. The car was they not were, for They sale. were gonna try and sell it, but it was a modified vehicle and the person that Least the car ended up doing all these mods to it so they couldn't sell it. So Cody made a joke like, oh, I'll trade my Tesla for it. Long story short, actually ended up trading his Tesla for it, so now he is this. Yep, now I got a fing Hellcat. Sweet. Do you think it fits me better? It suits me better? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, everyone said it suits me better. Yeah. The Tesla over time is, you know, obviously gonna get boring. You did everything Dude, you could to it. Dude, within eight months, I got bored of the car. But it's an experience, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. eventually it's time to move on. My neighbors, Hate oh, I bet. Dude, the cold starts on this thing are ridiculous. And yeah. I park it in the garage. So I actually had to start pulling into the garage because when I would back in, it would just bounce off the walls and my whole house would fucking shake. Well, hopefully Cody gets this uh, the tune right, the tune right it so we can it. feel full power. Yeah. I mean, we'll try to without spinning. We'll see. So I guess it's finally time to tell them that this is going to be our last time together. What do you mean? In this apartment. It's our last time in the apartment together. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Julie and I, over the next couple of days, are actually gonna be packing up the apartment, moving everything out, our lease is up. We are no longer gonna be here in Florida, so. Yeah. You sad or no? Not really. Yeah, I don't really care either. <laughs> <laughs> that was up. Yeah, we're like barely here, it's whatever. I like coming out here, but you know. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. It's a nice area. We always like to switch it up, who knows, maybe we'll get another apartment somewhere else, or maybe we'll just start like staying at like Airbnbs and like random locations, just constantly travel. That'd be fun. Yeah, it'd be awesome. So we'll see what happens, we'll see what the future holds, but that is gonna wrap up today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Ludi by clicking the link down below at the very top of my description. Use promo code LANCEU10 to open a free mystery box. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.